Alright everyone, welcome back to the Combustion Gamer YouTube channel and NASCAR Heat 5 My Team Mode. Now you might notice if we switch over to uh, the truck series here, you might notice some point differences. That's because for some reason we went all the way, uh, the season went all the way back to Las Vegas. So we had to race Las Vegas and uh, etc. again. So I'm not totally sure what all happened there, but anyways, we had to redo all those races and had to get the win back at Talladega. So I'm not sure what totally happened there, but we have only a few races left in the season, so this should be fun. We got the Xfinity team here, so we're going to go ahead and get our car ready to go there. Start to get our uh, other car worked on there. There we go, got that going. Anyways, we're going to be heading out to Kansas for some racing. So, that'll be fun. Let's go. And there we are at Kansas, everybody. Beautiful race car, as always. So, let's see. We're going to want to go for a pretty balanced setup. We're going to skip the practice, skip the qualifying as per usual, and go straight into the race. So, let's go. Alrighty, so Jesse Little's having a really good weekend. Ross Chastain is the pole winner, and Daniel Hemrick is uh, going to the back after an engine change. How good are we going to be? Uh, probably not that good, but uh, we're still going to give it all here and hopefully get a top 20 again, which would be nice. So it feels pretty good, we're getting a pretty good run here. Kind of try to fix him there a little bit. Four lap shootout in the first stage got plenty of fuel. So we'll see how the pitting strategy comes and goes in the race. Kind of drifting up track there. Getting into the back of us there a little bit, not too bad. Colby Howard giving us a little push. Getting back behind the 93 here. Getting past 93 there. doing pretty good so far so we got uh, up to 24th from 35th position so about 11 spots made up so hopefully that means we can do a pretty good job on the next restart get a little loose into that turn there looks like tires will be a bit of an issue so we'll have to watch that There we go, there's the first stage, finish 24th. Alright, nobody gonna pit, we're gonna try and do the same. I'm kinda worried about that tire there, but we'll have to watch and see what that does. I'm not sure how many laps we have in this stage. Let's have to four laps on that tire, so let's see here. Five laps to go in this stage. Tire cooled off a little bit, but not a whole lot. So we'll see what we can do here. Yeah, 
I was in Cinder Grin on the High Line there. I have never been able to do that. No matter how many times I've tried, I've never been able to run the High Line. Timmy Hill gets into the back of us. He goes around. Back up across traffic. And huge wreck on the front stretch. That will bring us to the end of Stage 2. Which is probably the best thing for us, honestly, with that tire. Alright, we're going to bring it down. We're going to get as much fuel as we can. We're not going to fix any damage. Uh, we're going to leave the tape where it is. Car's handling pretty good. Uh, amazingly, we stay right where we were. Uh, good job by the pit crew. Try and I'm going to try and drop down, but I is getting up there underneath Howard, so can't really move down there yet. Alright, sneak on down to the bottom groove here. We have 13 laps of fuel. Next, the bay comes up into us. In the push from the 8 car. Sixteen laps remaining, twelve laps of fuel, so green flag pit stops minus caution will have to happen for at least fuel. I'm pretty sure we'll have to do it for tires though as well. So green flag pit stops in this final stage, that should be very interesting. Annex to Bay just taking off like a rocket there, looking awesome. Taking it nice and easy into the turn, trying to uh, save our right front tire there as much as possible. Licky getting under us. And Balicky! Balicky got into us, got loose, Earnhardt pushed him. Then that just sent them around. And there's the caution again. Yeah, he got loose under us, and then Earnhardt was there to put the bumper to the rear end. So we are slow, so that's not helping us. Balicky was pretty fast there. We, did, we were able to block him fairly well, but still, just. And hot back there, and uh, ended up uh, putting the nail in his coffin. He's already in the back now. All right, we're 21st. I'm not sure. We're gonna be pretty close on fuel either way. That's for sure. And hot's going underneath us. There we go. Watch fuel here. Coming to the line. And we have 11 laps remaining, 10 laps of fuel, 9 laps of fuel. So we are short still. So everyone theoretically will have to pit as we kind of wash up there in Alfredo a little bit. Not terrible, but not good. Trying to save that tire as much. It looks like that we might be able to run the top. We're gonna give it a try in at least one and two, anyways. That seemed to be the best. Stay low down to here for right now, anyways. Really trying to manage the tire, and also by not going full force into the turn, we might be saving some fuel too. Let's see, nine laps remaining, eight laps of fuel remaining. We'll run a higher line here. Let it drift up at the end. There we go. Watching the tire, watching the fuel. Alright, we can run the higher line a little better, so we will try that. Seem to get a pretty good run there, too. Alfredo underneath us, trying to spin us out. Fredo puts us into the wall. And 
Nice run from the top. Definitely like that. All right, we're going to be trying to run that. Never, I've never had a car that was really good at running the top, but this car seems to be running up here fairly happily. So we're going to keep giving it a try here. Get a nice little draft off of Alfredo up there. Very nice. All right, running the top is working out for us today. Very rarely do I have a car that runs the top well. So this is pretty interesting. Get underneath Alfredo here. Draft, need some draft. Brown's gonna take our top line away, so we can't use that. There he is. Tire is becoming an issue. So we hit the wall again. Rogers came around. Alright, four laps remaining, three laps of fuel. Question is, can everybody else make it? That's that's what's uh, going to be the interesting question there. Three laps remaining, two laps of fuel remaining. Wow, that top is really coming in nice. Love that. But I don't think we're gonna make make it to the end of the race. That's my problem right now. Just watching that tire, but hopefully a lot of other people have the problem, same problem. I don't think we're going to make it. We'll see. Jesse Little is pitting. Gonna get pushed to the line by the 61. Other oh, than there's one lap remaining, I didn't read. Ah, dang it. I thought it was the final lap, I wasn't paying attention. Fooey. Yeah, just a little head to pit. I thought a lot of other people would as well, but nope. Everybody else was able to make it. Ah! Bummer. Should have moved it up to that uh, high line sooner. We're going to finish this race one way or the other. <laughs> well, that was the most sad finish to the race I think I've ever had. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, that was nuts. 
That was amazing. Uh, we were getting some great runs on the top, though, but yeah. Fuel management was not where it needed to be. That was a wacky race. Well, that was extremely sad finish, but uh, Mike Onet is your winner. We do get some moolah, but yeah, that was that was a pathetic end to the race, that's for sure. Alrighty, then we're heading out to Texas to uh, make our humiliation probably even worse, but we'll, we'll see how it goes here. We're going to get our car as upgraded as it can be. Go ahead and get some work done on the speedway, next speedway car. Get that uh, done, and uh, we're ready to <laughs> head to Texas. And then we have uh, Martinsville, Martinsville Truck Race, and then Martins, and then Phoenix for the championship of the Truck Series and the other. So uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not excited about this one, but we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, we'll have a good Phoenix uh, Speedway car ready for that race. But let's go uh, see how we can do at Texas. And welcome to Texas Motor Speedway at night. Cesar Basalala looks a bit slow. Chad Fickham is really fast, which is surprising. And Jeremy Clements crash during qualifying. That's uh, that's pretty bad. But here we are at Texas. Uh, let's go racing. 14 laps of fuel in the tank. And four laps shootout. For the stage one. Probably gonna try and uh, see how that top works, but uh, right now we just get a get some position hopefully and everybody sort out to some extent also just with how fast this track is usually the bottom is the best I'm gonna drift up here because the car is just not turning at all there we go all right we're gonna have to work on that there is no turn whatsoever from the car Try and run this higher line here and see how we do, but there was there was no turning going on whatsoever from this car. Look at that, there's just nothing. No turning whatsoever there. Yeah, we gotta do some work on the car. It is not handling correctly, that's for sure. Maybe we just need to warm up. It feels a little bit better now, but uh, still. Definitely not good on uh, corner entry. So we'll see what we can do on the setup. We're gonna go ahead and pit, get ourselves new tires. Ooh, we're gonna add some tape. Yeah, definitely add some tape. And we're gonna go up on the wedge and just see if that helps. Definitely adding the tape though, that's for sure. That should definitely help out a little bit of the speed anyways. Alright, let's see how corner entry feels now. Five lap shootout in stage two. Oh, still does not want to turn, it just goes off and does its own thing there. A little bit better, a little bit better, running the high line, running the high line. Just keep running the high line and see how the car does, I guess. Off 
throttle, back on throttle, off throttle, a little bit into the wall, not too bad. Definitely better than running the bottom and running straight up, that's for sure. A little bit less wear on the tire, which I'd prefer. Yeah, a lot less wear going on on that front right tire versus trying the bottom. A little bit more into the wall, so that's not helpful. Yeah, car simply does not have speed that we need. It's, we're going to try the middle lane here. Car's going to drift up. Yep, there is no turn from the car. Try running uh, the bottom here and see if that helps. I mean, the meant that it felt like we were running pretty good on the top, but we definitely don't have speed up there. But we are passing people down here, so I don't know. I don't know what the car is doing, honestly. Some of the tire pressure, obviously, tire pressure built up, and we're running better on the bottom. Not, not totally sure. Oh, that's working, but definitely, uh, get off, we're drifting up again, into the wall. And there we go, 31st again. Hmm. Honestly, I can't really, I, I can't say what's going on with the car, the car is kind of, Kind of being weird, so we will just gonna take right side tires, see if that makes a difference. We're gonna add some more tape. I uh, can't say the wedge did any good, didn't say that didn't made it worse, so yeah, we're just gonna leave it where it is and see what we do here. We actually gained 15 positions with adjustments and etc. That that's that's surprising. That's surprising. Alrighty, uh, we'll see what we can do here. I'm not thinking it's going to be much, though. You get to that bottom there, just a little trying to take it up. Dropped all the way back to 19th, so definitely not enough speed to run with these guys here. More damage into the wall. Yep, we definitely do not have speed to be running. There we are! Here, I'm surprised this is not a DNF. Good night. I cannot believe that was not a DNF. I don't know why it isn't. Wow. Okay, that that's that's that. Oh, I uh I okay. I know what happened. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that because I raced a quick race, or a race now at some point, I bet that DNF switched off, so I forgot about that. I bet that's what happened, because that should have definitely been a DNF right there. I'm thinking that's what happened. We got Ryan Sieg up there in the lead. Now we're starting from the back with four brand new tires. Will that give us any advantage over the rest of the field? I kind of doubt it, but uh, we'll give it a try anyways. I mean, we're moving forward somewhat, so 
and see what we can do. Get into Williams here. Williams is almost spun out there. Often getting in the way. Still moving forward somewhat. We have some speed, I mean, it's not much, but we do have some. It's just now guys leading up front there. Can't seem to get past the 08 here, though. Let's see if we can get to the 5. We had speed there, but the car was trying to go straight up the track. At least get a 25th, that would be nice. There's a little push there from the 5. He's going to get try and get under us. That's going to send us up the track. And he's going to get that position back. There's a lot of positions right up in front of us if we can just get to them. I don't think we're going to get to him. At least they get past Kobe Howard anyways. That's probably not going to happen now because Kyle wanted to go straight up the track. Yeah, we might. We might. Yes, 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 we got 25th! <laughs> got him loose just a little bit, we got 25th. Nice. Very nice. Alright, there we go, guys. So, Austin Sindrick is your winner, and Chase Briscoe is the winner of the stages. Alright, made a little bit more moolah. Continuing to sit in 22nd in points, and uh, Ryan Sieg, we had the fastest lap. Alrighty, and next up, guys, for next time, we head to Martinsville for the final race before the championship four. We already locked into that, so that is nice. And we're also terrible at Martinsville, so that's also helpful. But lots of work to do, and we can even buy a truck. Oh, that might be cool. But anyways, guys, we will see you guys here about that next time. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, you can check out how to do so over on the Ko-Fi page. And we will see you guys here 
next time. Bye-bye.